All right, so this was problem 13. Mm -hmm. All right, this is problem 13. And we had, uh, we need to find the magnitude, or we were given a vector, which was equal to 20. And we were given vectors B and C in terms of their degree with respect to the x-axis. Vector B was 90 degrees from positive x. Vector C was 210 degrees from positive x. Um, mm -hmm. um, so we need to find the magnitude of this ve uh, vector B and vector C. All right. um, so the first step was to decompose each vector in the x and y axis. Um, so AX was just the magnitude of that vector. Mm -hmm. AY is zero because there's no y component. Bx is zero because there's no x component for this vector because it lies on the the x y. the y axis. By is just the magnitude of the b vector, so it's just equal to b. Um, Cx we needed to decompose, so I'll just draw another small graph. You have c, and you can decompose it like such and you have CY CY and CX here um, so mm -hmm. once we decompose C um, it's the magnitude of the vector times the cosine oh, this is the angle and we use the angle of 30 degrees from the negative axis which is the same thing as 210. Or not the same thing, but we, yeah, only, we only need to know this, this angle. Um, so the magnitude of, of the C vector times cosine 30 and the magnitude of CY is going to be negative C sine 30. And this is also a negative because it's going in a negative x direction. Mm. So the first thing you do is summation of forces in the x direction. So you have positive 20 minus c times cosine 30. So we need to solve for c. Um, so you can subtract c and you get c times cosine 30 equal to 20. Divide by cosine 30 on both sides. And C is going to be equal to 23.09, which is 20 divided by cosine 30. Um, and for the summation of F in the Y direction, you have B minus sine 30. Is that supposed to be a C right there? Yeah. It's supposed to be a C. Um, B minus sine 30. And we're going to solve for B because we already know what C is. So on the next step, I just plug it in right here. Um, and you have B is equal to 23.09 times sine of 30, which is 11.55. Once you find the magnitude of C and B, then you can um, then you can take uh, add the all of the forces together for each each um, F and Y component. So this was AX. This is what you right here. AX, BX, CX. How do we get 20 for this one? You said, um, you said F, you said CX equivalent to 20. Oh, yeah, that's right. So hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> How 